a man says like I'm not going to do that uh, is that like a quality of a leader and uh, a lot of people were disagreeing with me that that would not be a leadership quality him just having that last word saying no that's not something we're going to do I think a leadership is a person who is mindful and then has a reason behind the decision they're making. But also when you're in a marriage and you love your significant other, you also are make, you want that person to feel loved, cared for, especially when you're in, in, in privacy, in, in, in intimacy. So as a leader, it's your, it's your duty towards your partner, wife, husband, whatever it is, to make them feel love and in, 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 in sexually or in any way, even if that means to not to do something that it wouldn't you wouldn't enjoy that much, but the fact that the other person is enjoying, that's very fulfilling for yourself. That's how I see it, and that's my experience it. in my marriage. Every marriage is different, and I think also that there is certain things when you are when you're having sex with someone. For me, that's very sacred, and I think you should just have sex with the person that you want to spend the rest of your life. Yeah, but. so I, I don't disagree that, like, I should be listening to my spouse, my significant other, um, what they want, um, and when they express those things, I, as a dutiful husband, you should listen to that, think about it, but if the leader, if your husband comes back and says, no, it's not something that's going to happen, are you going to submit to his leadership as a follower, or are you still going to combat him and say, no, I really want this. Because if that's the case, if you still say, no, I don't care, I still want to do this, you have to submit to my will, then you guys, he's not the leader. You guys are just co-partners. So when, when you when you saying, I don't care, uh, I guess when he asked me if I would push it, mm -hmm. what, what, he, yeah. what I meant with pushing, I will say, why we don't give it a try? Mm -hmm. Well, and then, so, and then yeah, yeah. we can make a decision. I, I guess I'm just I'm talking about it in extremely I wasn't saying, general terms. Oh, I'm gonna push it. And well, I'm no, no, no. Okay, so that's not what I was saying. Well, so say you come to him and say, "Hey, I, w I want to do this," um, and he thinks about it. Uh, he he listens to what you have to say, the reasons, and then he f comes back and says, "I'm sorry, I've thought about this, um, uh, but it's not something that's gonna happen." It has happened in many other situations in, in through mm. through our marriage, but my husband always has been very mindful when it's about our intimacy. Yeah. So we do have had those situations before, not sex related, but mm. with other yeah, stuff. Yeah. And he has said that I'm sorry, but we are not doing that. Yeah. And I have and completely you, agree with it. Okay. So yes. that in that case, like that is leadership. And yes. I think it's extremely important. But so, in but, but but you have to understand there is a difference between the leadership overall in a marriage and a relationship with your partner, and and the leadership in on bed is different. Mm -hmm. it's, well, so it, it's 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 dependent upon the man. So for your also. husband, you, for your husband, like he, he's willing to uh, do whatever you want in in your marriage, and that's great. Like that's awesome that you have that. But for some for some men. It's just not something that they're gonna do. So as a woman, if you're in that relationship, if you're, if you're married to that man and he says, I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen, will you be willing, are, are you gonna be willing to say, I submit to your leadership? It might be hard, it might be like, I'm, ah, I really want this, but are you going to submit to that leadership? And that's what leadership is. Like it, it is making that final decision, having that last say, and are you going to be a good follower and say, okay, I trust your leadership, I trust right. you. Right, and then as a leader also as well, you're taking in consideration exactly, yeah. the people who follow you. Which and, is and, important. Right, and then mm. what, what are making this decision? You know, if this decision is good for both of us, because remember, it's, it's a team. When you're married, it's a, a fully team. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you give a little bit more, sometimes some days the person give a little bit more than you, and that's how a marriage, we have bad days, we have good days, we have disagreement, but the Wait, important uh -huh. thing about marriage is disagree and be able to move forward. Yeah, but you this know? all stemmed from, just to recap for anybody who's just <laughs> joining us, you said that you would push when it came to... What, what I meant with push is, well, let's give it a try, and if you don't feel okay, comfortable let's role play for it. it. Let's role play it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Pretend I'm, I'm the dude, and you want... You yeah. want Let's let's role play it. Let's see how this conversation will go. Will you like to try it?
topics tonight? Oh, I thought I I'm not really into that. Sorry, babe. What? Well, that's not a has been answer. Sorry, I'm not into that. That sounds like you're dating a stranger. But you were, hold on. Okay, okay. Let's break the. Break the ice. Yeah. We the the, the context here is like. No, it's not. It's sweet never been like done you, don't, you don't talk like that to your partner. You say, "Hey, honey." Let's sit down and have a. They have a. What? Yeah, you just sit down and have an adult conversation with your partner. That was an adult conversation. No, it's not. Sorry, honey, I'm not into this. This is just very. How's that? That's strange and wait, short. What do you mean? Hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Like, let's re let, before you do that. Let's continue the role okay, play. So here. I'm basing okay. this on, on on how my marriage is with my husband. So every time we're gonna make a decision, we sit down. But you we said talk about it. you said it, that for for we haven't had any oral sex in our eight-year marriage. You said we've been married for eight years. No, I, I never said we have never had sex. When did I say that? That's the whole conversation we're having no, here. No, no, no. The guy never wanted oral sex. That's and then you're you talking said, about that's a, what we're a, talking a about. supposition that that never happened on my marriage? Not that, your literal current marriage. Yeah. You, the, I'm talking in this hypothetical. Hypothetical, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So the, whole, the context of the, this conversation was is it a deal breaker if the guy's not willing to go down? In a hypothetical marriage that is not mine? So let's, right, but you're saying. I think just for yours, like, you know, like, is that a deal breaker? No, for you? but you said that, okay, well, okay, maybe at the beginning, but if you're together for long enough and if you're, you really want that, then right. you're going to ask. Right. But the context here is the guy never did it in the relationship ever. There's been no prior sex. So this would be the first time. So you knew of this already. Yeah. Also, like me knowing In that he wasn't scenario. comfortable with it. And then many years Because you said, well, after, eight years into a marriage, things change. Right, and, right. But I'm guessing that, um, and I apologize, English is not my first okay. language. So I'm guessing that you, after many years being with someone and the person came out and say, hey, I don't really want to do this. And you already knew that I don't feel comfortable doing this since the beginning. That's what you're telling me right now. Well, that yeah, that's been the... Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I will have to be in that situation. I will have to. Yeah. Well, no, I, I cannot tell oh you. Okay. No, I'm not going to tell you something that I haven't lived through it. I, I, I don't well, have that type of relationship. Yeah, but that's the and purpose I don't. of a hypothetical. How would I react in a hypothetical? Would, I would probably say, let's give it a try. If you don't feel comfortable, then I will respect that. And we won't talk about it anymore. And we wouldn't try it anymore. That's what probably wait, I will do. That co totally contradicts your position earlier, which was... Like you seem to really give pushback because I think our position was if we said, "Hey, we're not we're not interested in doing that," you'd be like, "No, no, no, that's not the end of the conversation." Well, because you when when you have a partner, you talk to when it's this type of thoughts. It's not the same making a decision. It's like we're gonna get a new car or we're gonna get a new house. It's not the same. That seems like a when bigger you, decision. Than right, eating right. Some pussy. So that's why you sit down <laughs> and say, say, yeah, but that's when it comes, what I was just saying to him. You talk to your partner and you say, well, I will really would like to this. Can we give it a try? And the person will, because you mind, you're mindful and you're the leader, you're the husband, and you really want to please your wife because you love it, you will say, I'm going to give it a try even if I'm not comfortable. But if I don't like it, I want you to understand that I don't want to do it anymore. Right, but here's, here's my position. There is no, I'm going to try it just once. It's... I'm not trying this at all. And is your position, I'm going to continue pushing why, from why there? Why would you or, want it to try, to try to please uh, your wife? You don't, even, you don't even need to know why. But you tell me, why not? You don't need to know why. I think, I think no is sufficient. It's just respecting somebody's boundaries. That's where he's trying to get at. And if you can I respect agree, somebody's I boundaries. I agree with boundaries, but when you... No, like, no. no is a... Total. Oh my God! I just, sorry, I just butchered it. Butchered it. No is a sentence. I, I totally I butchered that. Holy that. fuck! I'm sorry, God. <laughs> I what's the, I what's the fucking that, saying? But you know, when you're being with someone for so long, the relationship just evolved to something else, and you feel comfortable enough to say, "Hey, I don't want to do this, but I love you very much, and we've been together for a really, really long time." And I, I. I'm mindful of what you want and your desires, so I'm gonna give it a try because that's a that's a marriage. You 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 give up some things for your partner, and the, your partner give up some things for well, you. Well, okay. So, what about let's let's move it a step forward. What about have you had that with your husband? Yes. Okay, I can't really use, <laughs> can't use that as an Can argument. Look, there's some down? women that are yes. not inclined ever to even try it once. 
and I think it would not be f like it's rude to push I that. think it would be rude to like push it you could like revisit it down the road but if she still says no or even maybe the guy doesn't the girl wants it but the guy doesn't and want all it. that is fine if the guy doesn't want to do it and if the girl still doesn't want to do it in my case that's but you're saying you have to try it once but and that's because, I don't think so. Because that's how my marriage works. We give it a try things that maybe the other person doesn't like, or maybe I'm not What about not like hungry. cooking meth? I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> well my I guess we okay, have to well, try it I mean, one time. Talking about we someone, gotta try cooking no, meth because none of us so, is a drug addict. In, in, <laughs> in, <laughs> so I think you're yeah, trying that, to. That's, that's not a good comparison. All right. So with this logic, let's say your husband says he wants to have a threesome. I mean, you have to try it once at least to make your partner Ooh, happy. I will Some try. things can always just yes. be no. If he no wants need to try, to I will try. try. Oh, that's why she's alive. You'll, you'll try? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. I yes. mean, uh, she's if consistent. If my husband wants to try something she's like consistent. that, I will try it. I need to read two chats that's here. Right. We have Nada Muncher donated <laughs> 50. Thank you, man. Michael Douglas got mouth slash throat cancer from yeah. munching on his woman. Unselfish served him well. Scientists still don't know what's okay. That's true, though. I've read that somewhere. Mm -hmm. true. It is, yeah. There. Uh, a guy can... lost his tongue because of that. I just seen yeah. it. On. Yeah, that's why guys don't like from doing that no more. Yeah, there's tongue? so many STDs going there's around. There's STDs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would never. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, Michael Douglas, he got mm -hmm. throat cancer. Not trying to get that. So, <laughs> I still kind of worry of like the three times I did it a long time ago. Like, what if? <laughs> Who knows what the future has in store? I'm scared. No, it lives fall off. Fuck. COVID-19. There you go. Uh, 